More of us than ever are using the railway in Britain. Demand for rail travel has more than doubled in the past 20 years and passenger numbers continue to grow. Our busy rail network serves a complex mix of fast, slow, non-stop and stopping trains. This means that we aren't able to run services close together to get the most out of the existing network. Lots of different trains are competing for a limited amount of space and as trains can't overtake on a double track railway, this leads to unreliability, delays and overcrowding. Despite a decade of upgrades on the current network, demand is still increasing and even the upgraded parts of our network are running at or near to the limits of capacity. Further upgrades to current lines would deliver a fraction of the capacity of a new railway line and often cause significant disruption for passengers and lineside communities. Britain's new high-speed railway, High Speed 2, is a game-changer for our rail network and will improve your journey, even if you don't use our trains. Building HS2 frees up a massive amount of space on the existing railway by placing high-speed services on their own pair of tracks. Once HS2 is operating, services on existing lines can run much closer together, meaning, for example, there can be more rush-hour trains. There will also be flexibility to meet growing passenger demands in the future. HS2 will also relieve pressure on key bottlenecks, such as where branch lines meet with long-distance routes or at larger stations. By creating more space for more trains, we will also take hundreds of thousands of lorries off the road every year, as more freight can move to rail. This will make our motorways safer, improve air quality and help reduce carbon emissions. All this adds up to more train services across the country, more seats for passengers and fewer delays.